One of the things I love about working on ice is it's actually just visually very beautiful. The Antarctic is a beautiful and exceptional place to work. Much of what I do is to try to understand changes in climate um, over the last hundreds to thousands to even hundreds of thousands of years. An ice core is a continuous section of ice drilled into a glacier or an ice sheet. We're sending this instrument down, which is just a cutting tool, and the thing goes down a meter at a time. You bring it up and now you have these long tubes of ice. Drilling an ice core is kind of like a time machine. You can go back and find out what was the atmosphere like 50,000 years ago. It's snow that has fallen and it then is compressed, trapping the atmosphere. You can count the layers in ice cores like you can count tree rings. And that means that you can actually determine when certain events in climate happened within a few years. A major thing we've learned from ice cores is that CO2 is higher now than it's been for nearly a million years. Eric is my PhD advisor. So there were seven of us who went down to Hercules Dome in Antarctica this past winter, driving radar around, looking for a place to drill an ice core. There's a lot of teamwork and camaraderie and excitement about each successful piece of ice that you bring up because it's a huge amount of, of engineering and just work to, to get to that. I think good group dynamics is also very important because as you can infer, it is very harsh conditions to live in. Since we put so much time and so much money just to get there, there's a lot of pressure to make sure that it is successful and that we have data to show for it. We have really practical questions to ask. How quickly is the Antarctic ice sheet going to add water to the sea level and raise the sea level? It's exciting to be involved in research that has direct practical relevance that will actually change how we act and what we do. I think it's exciting to be a part of such a large question that hasn't been answered yet that could affect so many people's lives.